Welcome to Help for Coding Learning. My name is Ashish Garpale. I am your Java trend. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss the first problem statement about like write the Java program to create a class known as a bank account with the methods like input custard data, show custard data, deposit and withdraw. Also, we will create a subclass that is a saving account. Okay. So now let's begin with the session. So let's create a class that is banking system class banking okay we are having the class like bank account class is there okay so we are going to create a class that is bank account and also this class and uh, i'm having another uh like uh, my main class is there class uh banking system okay this is my main class and this main class is having a function that is main function okay now what i am doing here in the main function uh, i'm gonna create a four menus so we have to create the four menus for these four functions so what i'm doing is uh, let me first create the four functions and that four functions will be declared inside the banking bank account class okay we have a bank account class so this is my bank account class okay now let's create the menus so what i'm doing is system dot or dot parent ln and uh, one for i'm giving the options like one for to add customer data okay then we have the second option show customer data third option we have deposit deposit and fourth option we have that is withdraw okay and the last option we have that is exit so what we are going to do here switch case and what we are doing here like int and equals to java dot util dot scanner object we are going to create here the scanner object i am passing the system dot in and uh, then we are having the function that is next in function also i required this uh this scanner i require scanner class i required in the our bank uh, banking account class okay so what i'm doing is uh i'm going to create scanner c equal to new scanner okay and this is my scanner class and this class is present in import java dot util dot scanner okay this is my class and then what i'm doing here i'm passing this n here and then my case number one the case number one uh what uh, the case number will do uh here we are going to create the object of the bank account class bank account obj is equals to new bank account okay and then what we are doing here uh, we are calling the uh, functions like obj dot first fun function we are going to create that is add cust data okay and then break it okay then next function we are going to create let me copy paste these four functions okay so add cust data then another function we have that is show cust data then we have the deposit function okay and then we have the withdraw function and then we have last that is exit so what i'm doing is 
I'm mentioning here uh, 0 for exit and if user is pressing 1 so add cusp data will be called then uh, similar way in the case 4 withdraw function should be called and in the case 0 what I'm writing is system dot exit okay system dot exit 0 so this is my menu driven programming code and what I'm doing is now I'm going to create the few methods okay public void add cust data okay then my second method is show cust data then we have a method like deposit again we have a method like withdraw okay so these four functions we have now what i am going to do so let me check this now uh, let me execute this program guys so java c banking system dot java okay if one error is showing there package does not have java dot util dot scanner system dot in does not exist showing okay so what we can do is we have option okay what i'm doing is let's create the object because i have already imported no this class is already imported okay so that's why it's not working so what i'm doing is i'm creating a object that is scanner sc one equals to new scanner and then what we will do is here that is c1 dot next okay java dot util dot scanner now let me execute once again yeah it's working okay so my file name was banking system dot java and another my main function is also available in banking system class so let me execute so it is showing that uh, the four menus right add customer data show customer data deposit and withdraw so if one will be pressed so add customer data will be called okay two will be pressed to so show customer will be called so guys uh, what is the main problem like if i pressed one so what it is doing it is exiting the code now so what is the solution here the solution is what we can do is what we will do uh, we will write all those code inside a while loop so create a while loop it's an infinite loop actually while true means whenever we are writing any statement inside the while loop okay while true so it will show in, uh, it is executing that code again and again okay so what i'm doing is it is executing that code again and again but we have given the option for exit the code okay so perfectly it will be working like the menus okay add custom data to show the deposit for withdraw and zero for exit now now this menus are working properly okay now we have to write the code for uh, this to adding the customer data okay now what we are doing here let's create some variables okay so and add a customer data like i need a uh, like account number okay then another uh, int variable i required that is balance variable then uh, we have required the like uh, name so string string name like this okay and then we have required uh, one more variable like what i'm doing is i'm accepting the city also okay so string name city uh, account balance like this okay now what i'm doing here uh like uh, we, when any customer wants to open that um, uh, account okay if any account so what we will do is okay, like we will add 1000 rupees by default in that account so we will not accept the values like to enter the balance amount and wall or we, and to enter the opening balance are like okay so what we are doing here we are creating the constructor 
okay constructor bank account and in the constructor bank account we are adding like uh, balance equals to balance equals to 1000 okay we are initializing the value balance equals to 1000 okay now uh let's what we are doing ask the information like to enter the name like this okay so we are asking the user enter enter customer account number okay enter customer account number then what we are doing we are asking that we are customer name okay enter customer name then what we are doing we are asking that enter customer city correct enter customer city three information we are accepting from the user okay then what we are doing uh like i'm having already variables so account number equals to sc dot next int okay and then we have another we are accepting the string that is sc dot next name we are accepting and then we are having another string that is city we are accepting is okay so we have accepted this data city we are accepted okay so i am having three information in uh, add custard data now what i am doing here uh in show custard data we are showing the customer details okay so what i am doing is let me again copy paste this code okay so let me check uh this is my current account this is my customer name this is my customer city okay just i'm printing that information nothing else okay then plus account number name city we have showed okay and then what i'm doing is i'm adding the i'm showing another information that is my balance account balance what is account balance okay account balance okay account balance is there okay so i have shows this information now what i'm doing is uh, let me check this working is properly or not so let me compile the code then let me execute the code then one then what we are doing this is my account number this is my name i have entered this is my ct i have entered okay and it is showing uh i think i should give the message like uh, this uh, data detail is added like this okay anyways so what i'm doing is i'm showing this information yes it is showing this uh, initially the 1000 balance is there okay what we can do is uh we can give a selection to the first statement okay yeah this is cool now guys uh let's do the deposit code what i'm doing is in the deposit code whenever deposit function will be called so we will ask that enter how many amount you want to deposit okay how much amount you want to deposit okay so what we are doing here we are asking to the user like enter enter amount to be deposited okay how much amount you want to deposit okay now what i'm doing here uh like uh, currently i'm gonna create a uh, like local variable like int amt equals to sc dot next int okay and i'm accepting values and like suppose my uh initial balance was 1000 the one so 1000 plus amt correct means balance plus amt should be stored into the balance variable okay so in the main balance this data will be updated okay in the same uh, uh like uh, for example suppose i want to withdraw some amount 
So what I will do is in the withdraw function, I will add uh, uh, the same statement like uh, enter amount to be withdraw, correct? Enter amount to be withdraw. And then uh, what we are going to do, we are accepting the amount here and balance equals to balance minus amount, okay? This is my withdraw code, okay? This is my main uh, code is there. Now let me once again uh, compile this code, zero four exit and um, banking system dot Java. Then again, okay, showing the menus. One add customer detail. So this is my account number. This is my name. This is my CT. Then show the information. So information in like 1000 balances there. Like I want to deposit some amount. Suppose I want to deposit 3000. So the now let's check the account balance. Okay, 4000. Suppose I want to withdraw some amount. So what I'm doing is 2000 withdrawal. Let me check again. So again, 2000 is showing. Okay. So this is my, uh, what I did. Like I did a CRUD operation like this. Okay. Now, uh, but but it's not completely CRUD operation. Like uh, we have not deleted any data. So we will do later that, okay? So first we have to achieve my goal, okay? So let's check our goal. Uh, so we have already created a class that is a bank account and uh, having the functions like input custody data, show custody data, deposit and withdraw. Now the next target we have to achieve that is create a subclass that is saving account, okay? That overrides the withdraw method, okay? Now here what we have to do, we have to create a saving account class okay that will be override the withdraw method okay so here what i will do is i will create a saving account class okay class saving account and in the saving account class what i'm doing is um I'm doing uh, inheritance, okay? So guys, you know that, like if you want to access the properties of parent class into the child class, then we should go for inheritance. So what I'm doing is inheriting the bank account class. Now, what we are doing here, we are doing the overriding concept, means polymorphism, runtime polymorphism we are using, okay? So override the withdraw method. So when I should go for withdraw method, guys? So withdraw method means like if parent class, if sorry, if child class is not satisfied with parent class method, okay? If my child class is not satisfied with parent class method then we can override that method in the child class okay the, and we can rewrite that definition okay like similarly like uh, let me have a short explanation you uh, like for example i am having a class that is parent class okay parent class is having a function that is bike function okay and suppose uh, child and child class is also having uh, we are having the child class the child class extends the parent class, okay? And then uh, whatever uh, properties we have uh, declared inside the parent class that we can access because of this inheritance, okay? But whenever we are creating the child class object, okay, child obj equals to new, then child, okay? So by using the obj object, we can access this bike function, correct? Okay, if you don't have any bike function in the child class, then this bike function will be executed. Okay, but but in the case like if child is not satisfied with bike function, suppose parent is having the uh, splendor plus bike and child wants I need a high Buddha. Okay, so what we can do is we can declare this bike class uh, bike function here and key can rewrite our own definition like with high Buddha. Like suppose parent was having a splendor plus. Okay. So guys, what we can do is, so when we call the child class object, so then HB will be printed, okay? So this is known as your overriding concept. So what we are doing here, in the problem statement, we have already mentioned that is um, like a saving account that override the withdraw method. The withdraw, withdraw method we have to override. So what I'm doing is, I'm doing the copy paste of this withdraw method in the saving account, okay? Enter amount to be withdraw, and then amount will be asked. And, and the, here we have to uh, like check, the prevent withdrawal if amount balance falls 1000 okay so we have to prevent the withdrawal so here what we will do is we will check here if if uh, like my balance amount uh, uh, whatever my balance amount is there like a balance minus amount suppose my balance amount is 
fifteen hundred. Okay, and my amount is thousand rupees. Correct. So, uh, if it is uh, so, how much it is like it is five hundred. If balance amounts amount is less than, okay, is less than equals to, okay. If a balance amount is less than equals to, or we can check like if it is greater than, okay. If, uh, if balance minus uh, okay, one thousand uh, equals to uh, five hundred, okay, is greater than, okay, is greater than one thousand, okay, is greater than equals to one thousand, then you can you withdraw. Otherwise, we will give the message. You know? So if balance minus amount, okay, is greater than equals to one thousand. Correct. So you can withdraw means this code will be work. Okay. Else, what we are doing here? Else, we are giving the message. Okay. We are, what we are doing here? We are giving the message like key. What message we are giving here? Key, the message we are providing here like you can't withdraw. You can't withdraw amount or or what we can the, the, the amount should be or we can give the message the amount should be one thousand amount should be minimum amount should be minimum amount should be 1000 like this okay now let me check okay now what we are doing here we are creating the object of the child class that is saving account so all that methods of the banking class okay means bank account class will be accessed okay so what we are doing here we are commenting this code okay we are commenting this code and we want to create an object that is saving account okay that is saving account now what i am doing is i have the i did here like inheritance okay then uh, we have created a saving account class now let me do is let me compile this code first okay okay we have to remove that code so let me comment this code. Yes, working fine. Uh, add customer data. So let me add my customer account, uh, account number. Then this is my name I have entered. Then my CTs. And uh, let me show the customer detail. Okay. Then what we are doing, we are do depositing some values and some amount sorry so 3000 deposited so how much amount we have now 4000 and then in the case uh, of four withdraw okay so what it will do the amount to, it is asking to amount to withdraw suppose i want to withdraw uh, like uh, i'm having 4000 amount no i want to withdraw 3500 so it is showing like minimum amount should be 1000 because do you know what we did here we have created the object of the child class obj so when we call this obj dot withdraw method, so withdraw method is already available in the parent class. So parent class withdraw method will not be executed here. The child class withdraw method will get a chance for because it is overridden now. Okay. So child class method will be executed. Okay. So it is showing like minimum amount should be 1000. Okay. Now what we are doing, uh, again, we are forcing, uh, uh, pressing 4. And uh, now I am trying to withdraw 2000 rupees. So when I try to, so it is a uh, withdraw, then um, let me check this show customer detail. Yes, it is showing the amount, ba amount balances, account balances like 2000 rupees. Okay. So guys, we have achieved the first task that is a uh, banking system with menu driven program. So this is the first video uh, of this co source code. Now in the next video, we will achieve our next milestone that is we will solve this problem statement so thank you for watching this video subscribe my youtube channel bye bye